Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So today, uh, now for this machine learning for Python, we had already studied like what machine learning actually is. Um, and uh, further we studied about Python, the features, the programming languages, and like, like whatsoever is the father of Python. Right, these all the things are the ones which we had already studied them uh, previously. Right, now before jumping on very quickly towards the practical part that how to implement and how to write the python codes before that i just wanted to give you an overview regarding the different different types of ides like uh, ides which you can use in at your ends for writing the python codes okay so i'll be discussing of that perspective thing with you people into this particular video so let's get started very quickly First of all, I will let you know some online tools and then I'll be taking you towards the offline tools as well. Okay, so I'm going to write up here. It's the Google Collab. The Google Collab is one of the tools which I uh, frequently use on when you have some to write up some Python pro programs or even I have to do up some data analysis as well. Into that frequently, I just use up this particular tool which is Google Collab. Okay, now. This is how it actually looks like. I'm gonna click over the uh, new notebook. Right, what is it? It is a sort of a notebook. It is a sort of a tool into which you can actually write on your Python programs in a very good manner. This is the one of the IDEs which only and only supports the Python. Okay, no other language is supported, either your Java or C or C plus plus, nothing like that. Right, so it only supports a Python. Right now, that's the one thing about Collab. You can okay, Collab is especially used for writing up the uh, programs, writing the codes for the data analysis. Okay, especially for data analysis and the, the sort of machine learning. For these things, is Google Collab especially used out. Right now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to let you know about the features of this Collab. That how other things working on. Okay. So what we can do is that I can go over here and click on the scanning button. This scanning button actually helps me to connect this to my internet. It's already connected to my internet, but yeah, to my computer engine's backend, it helps me to connect it up. So as soon as it gets connected, like see, it's, it's now showing me a green tick and this RAM is this and this is this. Now it means that it has been connected. Now I could just write out any program and simply run that out of here. Okay, the very first thing. Second is that you can rename up your notebook. So I'm going to put up like that. And let's say I'm going to write up your demo one. So this is the manner how you can rename as well your notebooks demo one dot. And see, here's the extension is dot IPYNB. So that is your Python notebook. PY stands for Python and NB stands for your notebook. So that's about the uh, extension which you are having in it up here. Okay. Next year from file, you can just save that into your drive, so the things, but automatically, whatever the file you are writing in, whatever the codes you write in, and whatever the file, that automatically goes up and gets saved onto your Google Drive. Now, that's the very best part of the Google Club, and why this is actually right away preferred out a lot. Because, see, the reason is because whatsoever you are writing in a PO, that file is automatically going and getting saved into your Google Drive. So, it means that you can use up or you can access this particular uh, file with any of the laptops any of the laptop any local machines anything like that right simply it's just that you need to log into your email id and just open up the drive for that and inside the drive you will find up your notebook so it's that simple right so that is the respective reason why this google collab being as an online tool is as well very used out Next year you are having up a share option. So from this you can share up the notebooks to any person. Let's say you want me that I should check up your programs or anything like that. So yeah, you can simply uh, click over the uh, button. Here you will be getting up a sharing link. Share that with me and I'll be able to check all of your codes. So that's how the Google Collab is actually running up. And that's how like the details and the things you are having. In so, yeah, these, these are some of the reasons why it is really preferred out a lot. Okay, so hope I am pretty much clear with that to you regarding this particular thing. Now, 
after having this one of the online tools now let's say i want to install python onto my device so i'm going to write up here python install for me it's my windows my windows is um, 10 okay windows or 10 and you can even specify your uh, machine so for me it's so 64 bits so i'm going to click over this particular one okay now the very first website will redirect me to official website of python so it's http www.python.org just click over that and now here we are what i could do here is start simply go over the downloads and see now right away the new download option is python 3.10.4 right that's the recent uh downloadation option this is the newest version which you have in the python so simply what you have to do is simply click over that and an exe file will download for you and you can just convert that exe file and install that onto your devices that's the procedure for python okay now for me into my local machine python is already installed so i'm not going to show you about the installation process but listen me out now very carefully into the description i'm going to put up a link okay and that link will be about installing python onto your local machines just please check out that video because there is one mistake that most of the people make out while installing python and if that mistake is made out so after that uh, there are errors there are complaints like this library is not getting installed or this library is not installed onto my device it's showing me error and the things like that okay so i really request you that please check on the video that is already in the description because i had already made up a video on installing the python i'm attaching the link in the description go ahead check that out and then only install your python onto your devices okay so install this python now python 2 is done that is my extension now which ide i am gonna use that is my integrated development environment so i am gonna use on the pycharm pycharm is one of the uh, finest uh, offline or your uh, softwares your ides for writing the python programs and this is actually personally usually personally use on you so uh, that's the thing and see here it is powered by the jet brains okay now here you are having two options one second you are having two options the professional and the community see professional one is having a 30 days trial after that you have to pay for having the access for the professional version but right away you do not need that out right it's simply that the community version has to be done click over the download and it will automatically download it for you it is free and you can just use that any time whatsoever you want out any number of time as long as you want you can use that out okay so just very quickly click over this download button now again into my local device into my looks or local machine this is already installed so what i go do i would once again attach a link in the description and that link will be the process for installing pycharm right go ahead check on that particular video regarding the process for the installation of video or installation of pycharm because i had again already made out a video for this so you can just go ahead check on the description you'll find up a link one link will be there and that will be similar for python and pycharm both okay it is similar for pycharm python and pycharm both so you could just check on that link download python onto your devices and even download pycharm onto your devices as well right so these are the ides which i you can use i had just given you the options for both like if you want to use online that i had provided if you want to use offline that as well i had provided on now other than this if you already have any ide like jupyter notebook or vs code or sublime or ideally anything like that so you can simply use that out no worries into that particular case okay any any ide you can use out but if you want me to recommend you so these are the ones which i can recommend you but jupyter notebooks are as well one of the very good options similarly visual studio code is also one of the very good options so these are the things which you can actually refer out so hope you will be ready with installation of these particular requirements up till tomorrow and from tomorrow morning we are going to start on a practical of python for the machine learning i'm going to give you one day time 
please make sure that you are uh, like like putting up some time and downloading these requirements so that from tomorrow we can just start on our practical sessions for the python right so hope you are clear with all the things which i had mentioned you up here regarding the online ide and the offline as well your choice whatever you want to use you start according to your choice right okay so hopefully you have enjoyed the video and if you haven't subscribed out my channel up to now so please go ahead subscribe out my channel and even refer that to your friends if they want to learn data science or machine learning and do not forget to press that bell notification so that you do not miss out any updates from fun with data science so this is all for this video till then thank you and take care